Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is like kind of a spare of the moment thing but I felt like I needed to film so that I have a video for sometime. I can't remember when I need a video for it but um, today's video is going to be a Q&A and assumption put together. Assumptions video put together. Um, I asked you guys over on Instagram for assumptions and um, questions so that's what we are going to do today. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about one of them. And then another one I really had to think about. Um, had to get a couple of things ready here on my phone. Um, but with all that being said, if you are new, I'm Emily and I'm really excited to have you. And if you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. I would love to have you join my channel. But, um, and if you are not new, thank you for returning and supporting my channel. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. A long time ago, I asked for questions, um, but I never did a Q&A, and I only got one, I believe, that time, so I'm going to insert this question here, even though it's a completely different day. I'm actually editing this video, and I just remembered my chair's making so much noise. Um, so the question was, what is your favorite picture, and I believe... Um, it's supposed to mean like what picture I've taken, so I will insert them here. Um, yeah, I have a few, I believe. Um, I'll have to search through though because um, last year when I was taking pictures of my family, that was fun, but I feel like I didn't really get very good ones, so we'll see what I actually choose. But I wanted to throw that in here because I kept not answering the question. So is what's your favorite worship song at the moment? So let me get it here. I, I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, like I can't really choose just one because I feel like when I pray like he will give me some songs and that's not saying that they're my favorite but I do really they're special to me because I feel like he gives them to me. But um, at the moment I have two and I'm going to just let you guys listen to them. Oh, not all of it, but um, the first one is um, called Just the Beginning. is the first one and then um, I've also been enjoying um, is that it no I don't think that's it I'll have to get it a friend sent it to me um, I also really enjoy this one a friend sent it to me um, about a week ago and it's an ad um, and I have really been enjoying it, and it was quite encouraging when she sent it to me. Okay, um, and that one is called Haven't Seen It Yet by Danny Gawkey. Not sure how to pronounce his last name. Um, and then the one who wrote the first one is by um, Greg's, Greg Skies. And it was really hard for me to figure out which songs I wanted to share because I have so many favorites. I have like um, a whole um, Spotify playlist um, that are all of my favorite songs. So. Okay, and then the last question, I did not get a lot of questions at all, just um, more assumptions. Um, but it's what, what's God been teaching you in this season? Um, when I read this, I just thought it was really special because he's been teaching me so much, to be honest, and I feel like I could not cover it all. But the main thing 
is prayer um, and just how important prayer is. Um, me and a friend were talking about this this week and last week. I feel like so many times we get caught up in life and we kind of forget, or not forget, but just kind of underestimate the power of prayer. Um, I know for me before um, this week and last week, um, I did, really did not pray like I should, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect, perfect at all in this at all, because I'm not. Um, I still really struggle with prayer, um, and I do hope to um, make it more of a priority in my life. But um, yeah, prayer is definitely um, the biggest thing that he's been teaching me, and then patience and trust um, is it would be the next because patience patience and trust I feel like they go hand in hand because if we don't have patience it will be harder to trust in him in my opinion I don't know and um, it could just be for me yeah God's been teaching me so much and I could literally make a whole video on that because he's just been teaching me a, a lot and yeah okay so on to the assumptions <clears throat> I will start with the first one that I got <laughs> um Oh man, I literally laughed out loud when I um, read this assumption, but it is that you are a Trump supporter. Um, I was having really difficult times figuring out how I should answer this question. Um, firstly, I am a follower of Jesus, and so if anybody or anything goes against scripture or against my um, convictions or beliefs, I wouldn't support them if they did go against that. Um, but to answer the assumption, it would be true. But um, firsthand, I am a follower of Jesus, and if anyone or anything goes against that, then I wouldn't support them. I would still, like, if a friend of mine didn't believe the same thing I did, um, which I have a lot of people that I know and we don't see eye to eye on everything and I still talk to them. I'm not saying that I would completely write them off the list because I hate it when people do that. It's very hurtful. Um, so hopefully that answers that assumption but I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, I always get a little bit nervous talking about uh, politics and stuff but I do believe that we should stand up for what we believe. The next assumption is you're shy. Uh, I am very shy and I'll, I find it quite funny. Um, a lot of YouTubers are introverts, which I am an introvert and a lot of YouTubers are and people always think that they're so outgoing and you know they're not shy when really that is just so not true. I feel like, I don't know, most YouTubers just aren't outgoing. Um, but yes, I am very shy and asked me that a few years ago. I was really bad with even answering questions that people asked me. Like, we would go to church and they'd ask me a question and I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, really horrible. Um, but I actually used to be an extrovert, so I used to never be shy at all. Um, you're a Christian, that says not much of an assumption. Yes, I am a Christian. Um, you love dogs. <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised to get this assumption from who I got it for from. But I actually do not really like animals. Um, I love cats, okay? But I'm not a dog person at all. Um, I like other people's dogs, and I do like my dog, but I would never personally get another dog. And whenever I do move out, I probably, hopefully, um, of course, if I got married, then I'm not gonna like, no, we're not getting animals, but, um, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> I won't have too many animals because they're not my favorite thing, but they're not horrible. But I'm not that, I'm not a dog person. Loves birds, walks, and loves to read. I like birds. Um, when I was around seven or something, um, I used to carry this bird book around and like spot all the different kinds of birds um, and now I feel like my dad and um, Ashley, my sister, 
takes that. Um, and actually my mom does as well. But I do like boots. Um, it's not that I hate them. I really do like boots. And my favorite boot, um, should I have you guys guess it? Okay. I'll have you guys guess my favorite boot down below. Press pause on this video. Do not cheat. I will tell you my favorite boot at the end of the video. Go ahead and guess my favorite boot down below. And if you can guess it correctly, I will pin you a comment because I don't know how many people know this. I know one person knows it. Um, and actually all my family does. So go ahead and pause the video. Comment my favorite boat down below. Do not cheat and watch till the end of the video or edit your comment. So yeah, go ahead and do that and I will tell you guys what my favorite boat is at the end of the video. Um, loves walks, I do. Why am I, why am I talking so fast? That's what I want to know right now. Why am I talking so fast? Um, the next one was love walks and I do really like walks. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of heat and my body does not um, react to it the best. So um, when it is extremely hot, I don't like walks, but I, ab I absolutely love walking down. It's about half a mile, I think, um, to our little bridge where the river is. And I don't know, we've lived here for 11 or 12 years and I've never gotten tired of it. I don't know what it is about that river, but it's just so peaceful and I take pictures every single time of the exact same river when it really looks no different. Um, but yeah, I really... What was that? I don't know what that was. What's that sound? Anyway, um, but yeah, I do like walks and um, the favorite like time to take walks and who to take it with is your family. <laughs> um, in my opinion, it's just, it was a lot, of, like we used to do this every night after dinner was cleaned up and stuff and we would all take a walk and it was just really fun. Um, loves to read, I absolutely love reading and I'll get you my book that I'm reading now. Okay, currently I'm reading two books and I've been reading this book for, it seems like forever, but it's War Room. Um, it's a really good book. It's about it's not um, about prayer, but it really kind of is. It's kind of um, a marriage and prayer like in evolved and how prayer fixes their marriage. Well, how God fixes their marriage, but um, how when you start praying, it can really change things. And then I also am reading this, What to Do Until Love Finds You. I haven't read a ton of it. Um, I just bought it not that long ago, and I think I've only read a page or two, but it's really, really good so far. So those are the two books that I'm reading and I just absolutely love um, reading anytime but okay this is random but literally the best thing to do when it's raining is to get a book, a cup of tea, sit by the window <laughs> and read. Oh my goodness it's so incredibly relaxing and peaceful. I love rain. Go ahead and pop in the comments do you love rain or do you hate rain? Like, what are your feelings on rain? I just, rain is amazing. And for any of you who don't like rain, you're gonna have to explain why, because I don't, I don't, I don't get why you can't like rain. Like, but, yeah, I love reading. Um, has a special place in the house to read? I don't think so. Um, I mean, I do like to read in my room because it's quiet, and a lot of times when I'm downstairs reading, it's not like loud in our house at all, hardly, but when there's more than um, one person in a room, <laughs> everybody's always talking. So yeah, when I'm downstairs and I read, I cannot focus and I read the same sentence over and over and over again. I don't know if I really have a favorite place that I like to read, but I would choose my room just because, yeah, just because it's quiet in here. Um, so I don't know how to answer that assumption, if it's correct or not, you guys can determine if it's correct. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, Love Swing, yes, you got that right, totally, and Sunshine. I do, I like a balance um, of the two. I also really love clouds. They just, they're puffy and I don't know what it is about them. But it makes it so relaxing, but yeah, I do really like Sunshine. But I also like Rain, so has to be a good balance between the two and loves a fireplace. <laughs> I I'm, I'm really bad at uh, my fireplace thing. I absolutely love fireplaces and we don't have one but we have like 
a fake one so it kind of looks like a fireplace and literally I would have that thing on all the time. Yeah, I really do. Um, okay, and the last one, she's literally so sweet. Um, you are strong in your faith. Um, I would say yes, um, it is hard for me to stand up for my faith sometimes and when I disagree on something that someone says and they kind of want me to agree with them or not like tell them whatever my opinion, it is kind of hard for me to do that because I feel like they're going to judge me either way and I have a problem with being judged. but. Um, I would say I am in a way, um, ask me this last year, it would have been different, but uh, God has just really, really been strengthening me and I just praise Him for that because without Him I am nothing and I would be completely lost. Or we all would. Um, so that is all for this video and it's literally 19 minutes for not very many questions and assumptions. but. Um, my favorite bird is a mocking bird. Um, I don't know if you guys like have those where you live. I know a couple of my friends do not, which is so sad because they're literally just so, so cool and it would be really sad. But um, yeah, it's really cool because you can like whistle and then they mock you whistle. It's just, it's cool. But. With all that being said, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you're good. Give me a like, leave me a comment down below, and yeah, if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe. Um, so I will see you next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any more questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below, or if you have any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, I will do my best, but some topics can be difficult to cover. Um, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week, board willing, with a new video. Bye guys.